you guys today I did this makeup tutorial it is a cut crease with glitter and just iridescence I love it so if you guys like what you see then just keep watching and we are just gonna start off with the eyes because I look scary right now I actually did this makeup look and I didn't like the way it turned out so we're on camera the way it filmed so I put a different setting whatever you guys don't care I am going to Prime my eyes and priming my eyes with Tarte Shape Tape. Oh my God, I look so scary. I look so damn scary right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes. So I primed my eyes with Tarte Shape Tape and um, Airspun Powder. We're gonna go ahead and use tape. Um, I'm gonna do one eye on camera and one eye off camera. The tape makes me have a sharp line. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know how annoying my dog is. Okay, so I'm going in with Makeup Geek's shadows. I will list all of them in the description box on how I use them. Um, yeah, so I'm just going in with Makeup Geek's shadows. I'm gonna build it. You don't have to worry about what's going on the lid because we're gonna cut the crease. So don't worry about it. We're gonna use concealer to cut our crease. We're going on our lid with Makeup Geek's Illusion. Illusion. And we're just gonna pack that on the lid. My dog sniffing around. Stop, Penny. Feather it in. So it blends in. Penny, I swear. All right, so that is the look, the eye look. We're gonna go ahead and just pack on. I like to do it with my finger. Yeah. Uh, this is the Marc Jacobs. This is the Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead and tightline my eye with it. It's like a purple blue. It's beautiful. Oh, I can do this now. There's my line. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyelashes. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my lashes on and have them do this eye and I'll be back for the skin. Okay, we have our eyes done. Now we're gonna move to our face. We're using the new Milk Makeup Blur Stick. This is a primer. I can't wait to try it. Non-sponsored. This Nothing in this video is sponsored, by the way. I'm just trying all new products and this one is kind of big on Instagram right now, so let's try it. It's supposed to blur your imperfections, which I believe it does. It's supposed to mattify too, but I don't really need mattification, I just need blurification, so. Um. My skin is just horrible. Penny, annoying. This dog I have is. So I'm going in with Becca's Under Eye Brightener. Ooh, new pack, ooh yes. Oh god, nice and creamy. And I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Cushion, Dream Cushion Foundation. And I just go in like this with my beauty blender, my dog bit. But you know when you're broke down. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go in and just go in. It is darker than my foundation, but or my skin, but that's okay. We'll bring it down the neck. I do like this foundation though. It's like lightweight, dewy, and full coverage. Well, you can build it to full coverage, but. I just put it in the areas where I need it, which is everywhere. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going in on it. I have to go in because I have my sunspots, which are not fun. When you drop your powder, 
We're gonna set our under eyes with translucent powder. You know? Now I'm gonna go in with Becca Cosmetics. This is like really good. This is in light and it's the multitasking perfecting powder is bomb. It's like really finely milled and I like it a lot. And just like stipple it on this way because you don't want to disrupt anything you just did. Going in with Hula Bronzer from Benefit. And we're just working that in to our cheeks. I don't really like to contour that much. Just kind of bronze. Now we're going in with Milani's Luminoso blush. Hit those cheeks with it. I'm gonna go ahead and spritz my face before highlight. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'm gonna go in my inner corner and put some holographic glitter. Um, I'm obsessed with hollow because, you know, I'm blind. So we put the hollow on the inner corner and now we are going to highlight the crap out of our face and it is just so pretty. Like, look at that. I do think it is pretty like white casty. Now, while that's drying, oh, it smells like baby poop in here. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it on a lip. This is from Makeup Forever. Okay guys, so there is the final look. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I will list everything I use down below. I'm kind of scatterbrained tonight, so I apologize for not really being myself. It's, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Um, I know that I usually don't film tutorials anymore, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling, but I will see you guys later.